Hey guys, it's Dustin here. I'm with Jessica and Moose. <laughs> Hannah and Rowdy are downstairs, which is what we call the house, but just down the hill. We've got some orders to pull. It's the day before New Year's Eve, so New Year's Eve Eve. Yeah. And we actually have some interesting sales, so let's go ahead, jump into that real quick. And the first thing we'll pull is in 62. It's a dual fold shirt, uh, USA Thermal. I got this out thrifting. It didn't make it in a video yet, but I mean, I knew what it was like right away. So I grabbed it and it was like $2.99, I want to say. It gets confusing because like how our, this isn't shade or insulting. It's just sometimes like t-shirts or t-shirts if they're short sleeve, but then some of the long sleeve shirts become like dress shirts, which are like $5.99 or $4.99, depending on the store. And so it gets really confusing, but I believe this one came out to be $2.99 and it's got the little tag there, vintage, that dual fold, old school tag. Sold this for $19.99. We've got $49. It's a little grind item. You know, we were out thrifty and I saw it. I knew it would sell. And we got this, uh, what is it, Ceramonic. I'm not really super familiar with the brand. We've sold it once before. And this is a audio adapter for microphones and guitars here. And this sold for $31.49. I was gonna say bin sale, but I think I actually bought this at the garage sale where he had some Amazon bin stuff laying around. 100% sure, but if so, that means we've only had it for about a month, a couple months now. 146, which is right here. And these are Timberland Muckluck Winter Boots. They're mid-calf. And these Tims here sold for $47.99. So fancy, they get the little Timberland logo there and silver, but well, not real silver. <laughs> Okay, so then this sold, and this is gonna be from the HBA pool. This is again part of that Formula X nail polish. Relisting it, I mean, it's not selling super quick, but it was selling like one a year yeah. under the old multi-quantity selector flavor listing setup that takes two years to set up when you have so many different, quant um, I guess, SKUs. But now that we've relisted them, they're selling. And this sold for $9.99. Again, I had a hundred bucks into all of them and there was a ton of it. It's just, they're finally moving after three years. I'll take it. 177, we've got this Amazon Crew shampoo set. I think just picked this up. American Crew shampoo. Yeah. American Crew shampoo and gel. And this sold for $18.99. Four has the Twilight Struggle board game. We just picked these up out thrifty. It'll be in a future video. I'm not gonna spoil what else we got with it. This was uh, not the best one, but still, maybe it is the best one because it sold. And it's actually turned into money. But, oh, not the best one from a, a comp standpoint that came from it. So I'm thinking about editing a mega, mega thrift video that'll like be like 30 minutes voiceover. And then I'm thinking about trying to change how I do thrift videos. Like I'm just gonna like dump all the footage in a couple 30 minute videos that we have stored up, which is like kind of sad. For a channel like mine, <laughs> when there's no garage sales to go to, but I think I'm gonna change how I do thrifting footage. Let me know if you what you guys think. Do you like the the old school pro picker thrift videos, or have you fallen out of love with them? It, is it me. time for a change? I don't know. This is getting edited out. Anyways, we sold this Twilight Struggle board game here for twenty nine ninety nine, guys. Uh, Four ninety nine in. Then we sold these Skechers which Jess is headed towards them because they're skewed weird. Yes, they are right here. So these are uh, brown 
Skechers sweater slippers. Basically, Uggs, but by Skechers. This weird box that's not for them, I think. Yeah. But they're these. They're a lot heftier than you would think by the description. Like, they're outdoor slippers, I guess. You just hiking slippers. I don't know. $28.49. We got this calculator. I bought this at a thrift and I spent $4.99. I think I did all right on it. I mean, $34.99. So it's a brand new sealed gravity calculator. And I'm sure there's some school or some class out there somewhere. I see it. That uses these. So, instead of the TI, uh, 209 has this spindle gigaware. 17. Mm -hmm. So these white socks here, uh, we got for like, oh wait, we already pulled these. No. We pulled the black socks? Yes. Oh, so, okay, we sold these. And these are bin 17. 15.99. Says repeat buyer. I would be curious to know if they also bought the black socks. If they bought socks. the black socks, because it would be it would have been nice to ship them together. And if so, I was right. We should have lotted these together. But I, I kind of bought them thinking we were doing that. Uh, I think I had a dollar ninety nine in those or something. They're finish line, made in the USA, cotton socks, six pack there, fifteen ninety nine. We sold. I'm continuing to look here. Oh has our vintage Milton Bradley. So this is an Axis and Allies here, guys. It's missing one red dye. Yeah. But that's been denoted. And it is shipping out. Move so has got stepped on again. $69.99 on this. I just bought this. Uh, I can't remember what I spent. I want to say it's $5.99. Yes. I think it was $5.99. So a good flip. $1.93. We've got, these are Brooks Brothers Blue Clark Advantage Chino Pants. I know I bought these forever ago. Like a long time ago. Forever, ever. I want to say $4.99 in. And we finally sold them for $52.24. I mean, some things I don't expect. I don't expect if I go buy pants like this that they're going to sell overnight. You're waiting for the right buyer. Do you guys want to do media or glass first? Wait, what's that? Oh, media. Okay. Well, I heard glass, but okay. <clears throat> so I got, the, I found the 3DO footage as I mentioned in text a couple videos ago. I don't know when it's going to be. Wave the warrior. $21.99 disc only 3DO has sold. Uh, that may, reminds me of the I Want to Be Ninja song. Don't. Turok Evolution for the PS2. Do you want to grab that manual that's lotted with it? Please. Okay. Turok Evolution sold, which I think was one of the games that we had to relist when we went through PS2. We still have to do a lot of that, guys. And then we have Turok Evolution and this Franken <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein manual here, guys. Same buyer uh, for one money here, $28.48. We've got Grand Theft Auto on the PS3. Grand Theft Auto 5. And this is our last copy of this for the PS3. So for $11.99, we did sell Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City. And I mean, they just dropped that GTA 6 trailer. So, I, I mean, anything Grand Theft Auto is just flying. I mean, it's not selling for a lot of money. This sold for $18.99, CIB with Matt. We sold Need for Speed Undercover on the PS3, $10.99. Some uh, cheaper titles here, but that's fine. I mean, it, you got to move them. You get them in lots like that, and it's like you got to do something with them. And I know there's, you know, other things we could do. Oni Musha 2, Samurai's Destiny, 
sold for $11.99. And that's it on the media front. So we're gonna go ahead and take this back to the table. Moose is helping to clean up. I think he's doing a bit more supervising than he's doing cleaning up. Now glass? Yeah, well, miscellaneous things, I guess. We got figures of glass uh, left. Well, this guy sold. It's getting pretty warm in here from running the heater all day. We turn it off for you guys. This sold for $14.99, I remember seeing that. Uh, this is a belt buckle with like an amber. No, it's a tiger, tiger eye stone. We probably had almost nothing in this, honestly. Like a dollar less. I bought it at a, an estate sale with a pair of cowboy boots. There you go. That I think sold. So um, I think I remember the boots. So the figure, this is to a repeat buyer. We got the uh G.I. Joe, a real American hero, track viper. He would be in here. And he's got red gloves. At least according is to it this movie. guy? That's that guy. Okay, so then here's... sold Han Solo. Here's that guy. For a hot Han Solo. So he's got a coat. 1980. And Star Wars Baba Walrus Man. This guy? Yeah, let's make sure it's the same one. And then... It's the same one. Orange. Walrus Man. Orange this... vest. That's him. I mean, I don't, he not, doesn't really look like a walrus, but sure. Oh. Well, yes, he does. Forty-seven ninety-seven. I'm gonna go put this down because it's. I'm gonna find. Uh... But this will be a repeat buyer. I believe your viewer. Thank you. If not, I mean, still. Still, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Afternoon sunshine. Okay, I don't know what that sold for. That sold for $14.99. All right. Was that it on the HBA candle area? Yes. You can see that we've knocked out quite a bit of it, even though we keep buying it, so that's good. And we thought we got that Molly Hatchet mirror. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna go up today or tomorrow. Ooh. Molly Hatchet has good artwork, I'll say that. They're vinyls. Um... Definitely we're poised to sell via their artwork. It's, it's crazy. Oh yeah, we got uh what is it, a stamp enough, yeah? Yeah. Reason for the season. Christmas stamps sold for fourteen ninety nine. Not bad. We pay one to two dollars on these depending. Probably could have got a little more, had a little crack there in the side, but not a big deal. We've we got glass. Oh, we still have glassware. Yeah. Can we have the camera? Yeah, sure. Go, go, I know go. that um, these guys. Okay. I believe these. Yeah, these sold for $59.99. Those are cool. And deets on the screen, but here's this roaster pan, blue corn flour cornyware. All right, I don't know what that sold for. Not not enough, I'm guessing. Uh, well, if the ship out's gonna be breakable. That is. Yeah, that's probably right on the fence, but yeah, pretty. I think that's, that's pretty good. It. Blue corn flour. Yeah. All right. Well, hey guys. So that does it for this order poll. If uh, this is the end, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.